Well, you will probably end up paying more, but who's to blame? The utility companies, lawmakers, regulators? One thing's for sure, they'll all have to come to the table to fix a broken system. $38 a month more if you're an Eversource customer, $30 if you're United Illuminating, subject to approval. Pura and its stakeholders will thoroughly vet the requests. The utilities blame the decision makers. It's, uh, it's almost entirely driven by public policy costs. Decision makers blame the utilities. I, I just keep asking myself, how many more things do we have to cope with? They don't agree on much, but they do agree that when Connecticut deregulated its electric marketplace in 98 to lower rates, it failed. Uh, 25 years later, four or five hundred percent higher, I would say that um, that did not happen as intended. The states that that didn't deregulate generally have lower rates. Wholesale changes may be needed to the structure of Connecticut's energy marketplace. Bring up the regulatory red tape. These companies are spending a lot of money fighting with the state of Connecticut. The cost of them doing business in the state of Connecticut only rises. Let's answer a few key questions. If you receive your electricity through a third party supplier, will you still pay the increase? Yes. Rate changes apply to the delivery side of your bill, not the supply. So why is your bill increasing? The utilities say it's because they're forced by state contract to pay a fixed price for energy to the Millstone nuclear plant. It's a commodity. It goes up, it goes down. Uh, it is never fixed. A contract signed in 2017 to save the plant from shutting down. The decisions that were made, um, you know, everything looks different in hindsight. Other increases are largely due to COVID-era safeguards that stopped the utility companies from shutting off service or collecting on customers who couldn't afford to pay, a cost that's now spread across all customers. And so it's similar to, you know, not paying off your debt. Eventually, time comes due to pay it. The utility companies say they are not profiting off this rate increase. They're simply being forced to administer programs that were put in place by lawmakers. But some lawmakers suggest that the utility companies are trying to recoup the cost of failed wind energy projects and are boosting shareholders at the expense of ratepayers. Reporting in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.